the purpose of this video is to provide a mathematical uh, representation of uh, or a more mathematical method of how to determine whether a system's time varying or time invariant. And I'm assuming this will make a lot more sense if you've viewed the uh, previous video on time invariance. The basic idea, again, we've got a system it has an input, it has an output, and we want to know how to determine if the system is time invariant. That is, how, how to tell if the system doesn't change as a function of time. So the thought experiment that we ran is we take x of t and we put it into the system to get y of t. And then we delay that because we want to see if it's going to match up with the output of the system due to the delayed uh, input signal. So the delayed thought experiment is I put in x d of t where um, x d of t is x of t minus tau. And so I've delayed my input I run this through the out or through the system to determine a y d of t, and uh, then the question I ask myself is whether these two are equal. So whether this delayed output is equal to the output in response to a delayed input. So um, let's do a simple example of this first. Let's suppose that we have a, a system that just provides a constant felt scale factor. So the output of the system at any given time is uh, the input of the system times 2. Okay, so if I take an arbitrary signal x of t and put it in, the output is going to be y of t, which is just 2 times the input, x of t. Okay. If I then delay this, everywhere I've got a t, I'm going to plug in a t minus tau. Then uh, the y of t minus tau is just 2 x of t minus tau. Okay. Now if I plug in an x d of t, oh, oh, that was ugly. I think that's a sign that we need a different color here. Okay, so the x, x d of t, which again is x of t minus tau, goes into my system and so that means and that gives me an output y d of t which is just 2 times x d of t which is 2 x of t minus tau so I can look at this and I can ask myself are these two guys equal and it turns out, in this case, the delayed output with in response to a non-delayed input is indeed equal to the output of in response to the delayed input. They're both 2x of t minus tau. So again, this is an example of a system that is time invariant, which makes sense because the gain here never changes. It's always 2. So let's erase some of this. And we'll uh, look at a more complicated system. This is one where the gain of the system is cosine omega 0 t. Okay, 
So the idea here is that the output of the system is going to be um, uh, y, the, the output y of t is going to be the input x of t multiplied by this cosine omega 0 t. So you can see here that the gain of the system is going to vary as a function of time. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I, if I put in a non-shifted input, x of t, the output is going to be y of t, which is x of t cosine omega 0 t. Okay, so I take the input and multiply it by this cosine omega 0 t. The output shifted is going to be, to get the output shifted, again, I take uh, everywhere there's a, a t in this expression, so that's going to be here and here, I replace it by t minus tau. So that's going to be x of t minus tau times cosine omega 0 t minus tau tau. Okay, so that's the shifted output in response to an unshifted input. Now I do the other thing where I take x of d which gives me a y of d. y of d is x of d times cosine omega 0 t. Okay, so I'm taking x of d and I'm just multiplying it by cosine omega 0 t. But x of d, that's my delayed, that's this guy up here, this is my delayed signal. x of d is x of t minus tau. And this cosine is still here, so cosine omega 0 t. And now the question is, are these two guys equal? And you can see they're not. I both terms uh, here will both terms have this x of t or x of t minus tau. I'm sorry, but this guy is multiplied by cosine omega zero t minus tau. And this guy is just multiplied by cosine omega 0 t. So what's happened here is um, the relationship between the input signal, the time relationship between the input signal and the cosine it gets multiplied by is different. And this makes sense because this gain changes as a function of time. And so what I get for the output is going to depend on when I put the input in. So this is a mathematical um, description or explanation of how you can determine whether or not a system is time varying or time invariant. Again, this is an example. This one we've done is a time varying system. So we'll drop it there. Uh, there may be future uh, videos that will come back and show or try to uh, determine whether a system is time varying or not uh, for some other examples, but uh, this ends this video.